Serena Williams is finally out of the tennis world as she announced her decision to evolve. The moment our 23-time Grand Slam winner decided to opt out of the sport, there was support, encouragement, and praises pouring in from different parts of the world. But with all that, it looked like one person wasn't that pleased with Serena or her career. Yep, it was the Aussie star Margaret Court. Let's find out more. Starting with Margaret Court's frustrated interview. Now, there are two reasons why this interview was such a big deal. First, it's very rare for Court to come out in the public eye these days, especially in interviews. Secondly, Serena had just retired, and while haters were acting immaturely on the internet, no one expected the 24-time Grand Slam winner and 80-year-old Margaret Court to be one of them. She complained about many things in the long interview, and here's a brief overview of all that went down. While discussing parenthood, sportsmanship, and the current game state in a rare interview, the former world number one and 24 Grand Slam winner, Court lashed out at the American. Due to her Christian convictions, which made her an opponent of same marriage, she has been a divisive figure in recent years. She said she no longer feels appreciated on the tennis circuit or in her own country. She further said that many news outlets and TV shows nowadays, especially those focusing on tennis, avoid mentioning her name. She feels that recognition for her achievements has been lacking. She has been honored with titles in her own country, although she's hardly publicly mentioned. Curious about more? Let's break it down one by one. First off, she said it was easier to play in this era. She wished she could have been a player during this period. She claims it was much simpler. Her argument was that it was much simpler for athletes to take their families along on trips to sporting events now than it was in the past. She lamented that she couldn't bring anybody from her immediate circle of support with her. Either she joined her team or the national squad. She feels that not enough attention is paid to the difficulties she faces. She also said that unlike today, they didn't have any psychologists or coaches on hand. It was like a whole new thing to her. Next up, she talked about the ease of getting the titles. For many years, Margaret Court was unbeatable in the Australian Open. She racked up an unbelievable 11 wins in her home slam. Not just Serena, but Court dragged Billie Jean into a rant as well. Billie Jean King said in a recent interview that the first Grand Slam of the year was small league in comparison to the tournaments held now. That's because Australia is so far away from anywhere else that most of the world's top players decided against making the trip. Not only that, but the competition was also brand new. Court completely dismissed it, pointing out that former world number one Maria Bueno, along with other top female players like Christine Truman, Anne Hayden, and Darlene Hard, often visited Australia for the Australian Open. She said that the Australian competition was challenging since there were more top 10 players from Australia back then. Jeez, how much has she been holding in all this time? Some fans argued, though, that Serena is easily the better player because of her ability to not just play all these different slams, but also play on different courts, which Margaret hadn't faced back in her time. Let's talk about how she ranted for the lack of recognition. Someone asked whether she had a good time at Wimbledon, and she said no. And according to her, the reason for this was that nobody talked to her. According to Court, an intriguing and unfortunate fact is that a lot of the press and television nowadays, especially in tennis, don't want to mention her name. However, pundits on the U.S. Open broadcast did compare Court to Williams, citing her record of Grand Slam victories. She responded to this by saying that she still holds so many records that this is done only when absolutely necessary. In 2020, she was supposed to be going to Wimbledon for the 50th anniversary of her calendar Grand Slam, but COVID struck, so the honor never happened. She was disappointed when neither the French Open nor the U.S. Open invited her. The player then added that she couldn't care less and didn't lose any sleep over it. Following up, let's figure out why she's ignored. She has been vocal in her opposition to same marriage and transgender persons, calling them the devil's work, and she condemned Martina Navratilova for being a role model due to her sexual orientation in 1990. The South African system of apartheid was upheld by the court despite being little more than institutionalized racism. Adding fuel to the flames is the fact that she's been very spiteful toward today's rising stars. She has used every opportunity to defend her record, saying that the period she played in was more competitive than Williams. Not to forget her argument about playing after kids. While Serena hasn't won a slam since having children, Court boasted that she returned from maternity leave and won three of four Grand Slams. According to her, Serena has been playing tennis for seven years longer than she has. When asked, she said that she had done a lot in her early 30s and still was pretty great. She said she went back to school and was away for two years. At age 25, she quit tennis for the first time, assuming she would never play the sport again. She settled down to have a family, but then went on to have one of her finest years, winning 24 of 25 events despite being a new mom. What Margaret doesn't appear to be considering is that Serena was one of the unfortunate ladies who had a potentially fatal pregnancy. And so, just because she was able to jump back quickly, she needs to understand that Serena didn't share the same privilege as her. Moving on, Margaret also complained about Serena's sportsmanship. Court went on to express her dismay at Williams' lack of appreciation for Aya Tomjanovic, the Australian tennis player who knocked Williams out of the U.S. Open in the third round on Friday. According to her, it was unfortunate that Williams didn't give more credit to her rival. When they were young, Court said, they were taught to respect their adversary. They mutually admired 
admired one another and respected one another. From this, many fans felt that what Margaret was trying to imply was that Serena lacked sportsmanship and did not appreciate her competitors. While court brought her down for this, the opponent in question praised Serena for her behavior. Tomjanovic, speaking after the match, gushed over Williams' great career and the inspiration she has been to her and many other tennis players. The fact that she loves Serena as much as the rest of us prompted her to express regret. She gushed to the fans about Serena and how much she meant to her in tennis. It's likely that this will also make Margaret unhappy. Next, here's how the fan reacted to Court's comments. Fans of Williams were quick to respond to the virality of Court's comments by posting a video of a joint interview the two legends had before the 2016 Hopman Cup, in which Margaret acknowledged that Serena is a brilliant player and Serena paid her respects to the Australian. After hearing the comments, many tennis fans took to social media to voice their disgust with Court. One supporter speculated that Williams didn't like Court because the latter is racist and that the former's tennis prowess doesn't make up for it. Quickly, more fans chimed in to remind the Australian and poke fun at her as well, with the most pressing common argument being the era in which Court attained success in comparison to Serena. The replies clearly demonstrated who people chose as their goat. Another fan added that she's a bitter woman. This is an attempt to draw attention away from Serena retiring. Serena owes her nothing. One user stated that while Court was an amazing athlete, she was also a really disgusting person. They said, you can be a phenomenal athlete and a really disgusting human being. Surely that's not too difficult a concept for Margaret, who is ever the navel-gazing narcissist to comprehend? I'll just leave this here, the fan wrote. One fan on Twitter couldn't help but link Court's behavior to white supremacy. This is the wildest and shining example of white supremacist obsession with tearing down black excellence I've seen in ages. Just wow, the fan tweeted. Finally, the attention that poured from all over the world. While Court vented her frustrations, everyone else showered Serena with unconditional affection. Even famous people attended the U.S. Open to cheer on tennis star Serena Williams. The world's best players compete in an open tournament. The event took place on Monday at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in New York, where many celebrities, including actresses Rebel Wilson and Queen Latifah, model Bella Hadid and rapper Offset, tennis player Naomi Osaka, and Olympic skier Lindsey Vaughn were in attendance. That's a wrap for this video. What was your opinion on this backlash that Serena received from the Aussie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.